Bridge North, a tale of two towns, High Town and Low Town. The 17th century half timber town hall dominates the centre of the town. Bridge North, named after the bridge over the River Severn, has had a settlement here since the year 895. Obviously, many changes have taken place since that date, and although still known as an historic Shropshire town, it is the Severn Valley Railway that many visitors come to see. There are many interesting small shops to explore in the town, and who knows, you may find a typical Severn Coracle. Two churches of note are here in High Town. This one, the Church of St Mary Magdalene, designed by Thomas Telford in the late 18th century, and the other, the red brick and no longer in use Church of St Leonard's. Rather than walk up and down the steep 200 steps, it may be wise to travel on the Bridge North Cliff Railway. The railway was opened on the 7th of July 1892 and is one of the steepest railways in England. It was originally powered by the simple system of using water and gravity, but in 1943 was converted to run by electricity. In 1955, two new coaches were installed, which are still in use today, and each can carry up to 18 passengers. For more information on Bridge North and the surrounding area, please see my popular ebook in the series Along the Severn, In and Around Bridge North. Details can be found at the end of this film. Why climb those 200 steps or drive your car on congested roads when you are able to travel between high and low town in comfort? At both ends of the journey are delightful tea rooms to enjoy good food. The Severn Valley Railway is over the footbridge and into the station. The station was opened in 1862 and closed to passengers on the 8th of September 1963. It is the only listed station on the Severn Valley Railway. Hampton Lode is a popular station along its route, with not just trains to see, but occasionally a visit by a group of Morris dancers. Hampton Lode Ferry was a pedestrian cable ferry linking the villages of Hampton Lode and Hampton across the River Severn. The ferry is tethered to an overhead cable and relies on the current of the river to propel it across. The ferry has been on this site for 400 years, but sadly in 2016 the ferry was permanently closed and now lies in a derelict state submerged in the River Severn.
We now take the train to Hailey, but on the way we may stop at the halt for the Severn Valley Country Park. This area was once a coal mine, but now another popular tourist destination. The Severn Valley Railway was formed in 1965 by a group of railway enthusiasts and continues to remain a popular tourist destination. The line runs for 16 miles from Bridge North to Kidderminster, following in the main the course of the River Severn. Stop a while at Hailey to view other steam trains passing through before joining our train to take us from Shropshire across the border into Worcestershire.